So hey, we're here taking a look at the Gilson <clears throat> snowboards. Uh, this is a 160. We thought it was a 156 in the review on the snow, but um, just to correct myself and correct us, it was a um, 160. We looked at another part on the thing and thought we saw a 56 here, on the, but that was actually the serial number. There's a 160 right here. So my bad. Now this, I believe, is flat, um, a flat profile, or if it isn't, it's just like a very chill camber or a very chill rocker. Can't really tell. Um, now here's what's interesting. You know, you can see how it sits on the table. You notice that it's sitting up. Let me pull these bindings up just a little bit here. I'm still riding this and still having fun on it. Notice how it sits up, the edge is lifted. So what they have there, we're calling it a ghost edge, but what they have there is they call a soft edge. So you can see here, there's an edge, you know, on this side. Um, then it goes just a few millimeters in, maybe a centimeter or two in, and then you see this second edge, it's a soft edge, it kind of ramps up. Then it goes flat and then kind of concaves down. There's like, it looks like a um, very small half pipe in the middle and then comes back over and the same thing on the other side. Um, so this is a really interesting technology and um, at first it took a little while for us to get used to and you know they were like please just ride this for a couple days which is you know um, like a you know a, a big request to get used to a board. Usually, you know how a board's gonna you know its general personality in the first few turns, uh, maybe the first few runs. You're like, okay, I got this board down. Uh, with this, it was like, okay, what's going on here? And what's really interesting is this you know this edge tech tracks really well. Um, you know, triple base technology and other um, you know boards that lift the edges. Um, feel a little more loose and um, you don't feel like you have that contact with the edge um, however for some reason with this it doesn't feel like that it tracks a lot better it has a much more stable track um, you know one footing and flat basing and then um, however you know there is a little bit more lean over to get to the edge uh, you get used to it really quick, which surprised me. I thought it would be something I would never get used to. Uh, but I was switching back and forth between two different, uh, between the Jones Mountain Twin and this. And um, I started, you know, the first day I started to notice that, okay, when I switched back to the Jones Mountain Twin and let Jimbo ride it, um, the edge felt so close on the Jones Mountain Twin. And it was just something that you quickly get used to. Um, not a fan of this. I take this out in harder conditions and like we thought in the initial review it wouldn't be that good. I'm not really a fan of that. Um, it's just a little too loose and um, <clears throat> you know you'd rather see that edge. Um, I'd rather feel that edge right next to me instead of feel a soft edge and then have that you know have to do more to get on that edge like to skid a turn to stop or um, to get more edge hold going down the hill, um, you know, like a steep hill with um, hard snow to icy snow is a little more sketchy. You just feel that extra, like, I don't know, a few milliseconds, half a second before you, you know, if you're going down a real steep turn and you, you know, instead of carving turns, which is really fun on this board, um, if you're going to skid a turn, you know, down a real steep run to slow down or somebody's in front of you, it just takes longer and it feels a little let more sketchy. I'm sure you could get used to that too, but that's one thing I haven't gotten used to. Now, the Jib Park, Jimbo just owned it on this board. He was like, this is so easy. He was doing things he's never done before because really your edge is, your, your hard steel edge is lifted. And now what, what's kind of interesting, I really like this idea with Gilson. Um, I thought it would be crazy. I thought I wouldn't want, I'd want to take a couple runs on it one day and then put it away and never use it again. Um, but I actually ended up liking the board and I like the technology and they're definitely ahead of the curve here. There are a lot of other companies, mainstream companies, that are going with um, lifted tech next year. 
Um, so they've been on this for a little while now and um, kind of pioneered this front or, or at least pioneered for this time. You know, it seems like tech's always being redone. Um, but they were the first to, to redo this if it was re if it was done before in the past. Uh, edge to edge, it's just a you know fun fast board. I had fun carving, fun turning. All in all, this is um, you know a really fun board. Um, <clears throat> it's a little heavy. That extra, all that extra base um, seems to add to the weight. And so it's definitely heavier than other boards I've tried. It feels you can feel it. But once you're on the hill, that, that kind of goes away. So all in all, um, Gilson boards, very unique, very interesting. It's not for everybody, but for some people looking for something new, something different, um, I think you'll really like it. We haven't tried it in powder. Can't say what it's like, but I'd imagine it would be a little better than a flat board would be, a flat camber board. Um, because of that little channel, it would kind of give you a little lift over the snow. But I, I'd still rather be out on like, you know, like, a board like the Jones Mountain Twin or Brainstorm or, you know, even the Rosy or something like that in powder because it's got, um, you know, a better, you know, the tip's up, it's floating, it's, you know. But anyways, um, that's the Gilson. Uh, definitely interesting, fun, very unique board. Uh, if you want to get something different, something a little weird, but something very fun, um, or if you know if you want to get a softer version of this um, you could just own it in the jib park it would really boost your confidence because there is no contact with the edges it really takes a lot for you to get contact there 